are critical to our food system. If we lost bee species, it could lead to the collapse of our ecosystems and the inability of our crops to pollinate. My Sarah funded project was my PhD research. It really funded everything that I was able to do. And what I was really interested in is where do bees nest in agriculture? Most people, when they think of a bee, they think of the honeybee, which makes a lot of sense because they come in hives and we can move them around. But there's this whole unseen world of bees that people don't know because they're nesting in plant stems or underground, and it's really hard to find their ground nest. Writing a SARE grant was actually a really great experience because it allowed me to articulate my research in a way that laid it out very specifically and come up with a budget for it, which I hadn't previously done. So I was able to hammer out a lot of the details that up to that point had been largely theoretical. And then I found that more bees were nesting in fields than we thought. Most scientists and models of where bees were nesting were really putting them in field margins where it's undisturbed. So we really need to think about how things like disturbance in fields, tillage, irrigation, pesticide spraying would affect them. I applied for a Western SARE graduate student grant because it's one of the few organizations that offers funding to young agronomists or entomologists or conservation biologists who have an interest specifically in agriculture. And because of the research that I did and the papers I published, I was able to get a job with a nonprofit called the Xerxes Society for Invertebrate Conservation, which does amazing policy and advocacy and outreach education work around the issues surrounding pollinators. So my goal had always been to really interface with the public and translate research into practical actions. And that is what I'm currently doing and hope to continue doing into the future.